What time is it my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today we're gonna be doing a text effect tutorial, trippy 70s distor distortion text effects Photoshop tutorial. And so let's go ahead and get into this. Now the first three that we're gonna do is Nirvana Nevermind, Stay Weird and Trippy. Now, Nevermind, I got it close to this in Photoshop, but you have to understand that this actual tax effects was done using a photocopying machine in the 80s as Photoshop wasn't really um, as advanced as it is now. So let's go ahead and get into this. So let's start by creating a new document. We're gonna be creating the first one here. So file, new. And I already have my artboard set up. It's 1280 by 720, 72 DPI. Um, you can do 300 DPI if you're planning to print this, but this is just for tutorial purposes. So um, I'm going to use RGB color, and I'm gonna use Adobe RGB 1998 color space and press create. Now, um, to sample the color in the background there, we're just gonna take the eyedropper tool, pull it over here so you guys can see it, um, and we're just gonna sample the color there and press okay, and then we're gonna go over to our new document and bring over the layers palette here go to Windows Layers if you don't have it already open and just unlock it um, to be able to change the color and then just press Control Delete. All right, so in order to get that like papery feel in the background, I just go Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and it's gonna be 7.26 amount, uniform, and just press OK. So um, the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our type tool here and we are gonna type out the word never mind in all caps. All right. And we're gonna change this to like a really dark blue, like so. And then we're gonna change this to Franklin Gothlet. So you should have this standard in your, um, these are just like standard fonts that come with your PC, so you should have this with Adobe. Um, so Franklin Gothic Heavy Regular. And guys, I'm using the latest version of Photoshop CCC, so if you're following along in Photoshop CS6, you might not have some of the tools that I have. Now we're going to press Control T to um, enlarge it. And there we go. And I forgot that Photoshop <laughs> changed some of the settings. Like I press shift, you used to be able to press shift and then it would size it, but now they automatically do that. You can change that setting in the properties though. So we're just gonna make it pretty big here. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that we have our layers palette out here and we're gonna select it to affect it, select the type tool and up at the very tippy top here, there, it looks like a T with like, like a, a drawn, like a drawn half circle at the very top, and you won't see it unless you select your type tool. So make sure you have your layer selected and your type tool selected, so you have that option. And then you're going to click on that, and then you're going to choose twist, and that is going to give you the effect. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're just going to put a drop shadow on it. So like so. And I chose hot pink because I thought that was pretty cool. And that's the first tutorial. So that's pretty easy, quick and dirty. So let's go to the next. Get your type tool out and type in all caps. Um, I hate when it does this lorem ipsum shit. And I resetted my Photoshop, so I forgot to change the properties, and every single time I forget. So um, you can uncheck that in the property settings too. Okay, so stay weird. And we're just gonna make this really big, press Control T, and drag it out. 
like so from the corner. All right. And that is it. And press enter to apply it. Okay, so next we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go to pixelate and then we're gonna choose fragment. It's gonna say convert to smart object. That's what we wanna do. All right, and so once you do that, we're going to, I'm just gonna rasterize this. Then I'm gonna duplicate the layer. Okay, turn this one off. And then we're gonna do a gradient overlay. So um, we're gonna go choose the little FX button, the styles button down here, go to gradient overlay and choose normal. And I already have this kind of like set up. Um, I have this gradient, I can put it in the files if you want, but all you do to create this gradient is if you click on this tool, it's you just add these gradients here and then you just click new and you can make your own gradient like this. So, um, and then just press okay. Then we're gonna rasterize this layer, layer style, I mean. We're gonna go back to the other layer and we're going to do a color overlay, white and rasterize that layer. Then we're gonna go back to the top layer and then we're gonna go to um, image adjustments and then we're gonna choose channel mixer and we are going to bump up the cyan. I'm sorry, I'm in image adjustments color balance and then you want to bump up the cyan, choose each one. We're just pushing it towards the left um, just to make it a little brighter and then press okay. And then go to image adjustments, vibrance and bump it all the way up and press okay. Now we're gonna merge these two layers together and then we're gonna Duplicate the layer again. And then we're gonna turn off, we're just gonna turn off that eyeball there. And then we're gonna go to filter, stylize, find edges. All right, so then we're gonna turn back on the other layer. And then we're gonna do overlay and make sure that you have this top one um, selected overlay and then just choose soft light. So, like so. And then we're gonna add a drop shadow. So um, go to the bottom layer here and then just add a drop shadow and I'm gonna choose a darker color, I guess. There we go. And that is how you do that. And then you can just add some sparkles to it. So um, get your brush out, choose a white. And then um, this is from my sparkle pack. Um, it's like a dollar or something on my website. So um, if you press the caps lock, you can see the brush head and then just make it really small and make sure that you have white selected and just drop some little sparkles here and there. Then um, we're gonna do an inner glow with a vivid light. These are the settings here. 94, zero, size two, range 50 press OK. And then we're going to do an outer glow, which is screen and it's this light color, 35 opacity, size 2, 50, same. All right, so we're done with that tutorial. Now moving on to the next one. So get your type tool out and 
we're going to type out trippy. Okay. Make sure you have your caps lock on. And we're just gonna make that dark for now. And press Control T and drag it out to make it a little bit bigger. All right. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to rasterize this text because we need to rasterize it in order to warp it. So we're gonna rasterize it and then we're gonna go over to edit, transform, and we're gonna choose warp. Now, this is not gonna have the same result every single time when you warp, but I'm gonna try to get it close to how I had it the first time. So I'm just dragging out to like, kind of like warp the text to make it like trippy. You know what I mean? And I'm just distorting it slightly. So, just like so. However you want to distort it. It's totally up to you. It's, all right. And then just, you can press the check mark or you can either press enter to accept it. Okay, so now we're gonna duplicate this um, layer here. And I'm gonna put all my stay weirds underneath here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna put all of these and convert them to a smart object so um, I don't get them messed up or confused. So um, yeah, so if you wanna sample the orange in that I used, you just, do the same thing, get the eyedropper tool and select the orange, okay? So go back and then press the FX style button and then press color overlay. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to select that orange over here and then just press okay. And that's pretty simple, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that layer and we are gonna sample the yellow that we used here, okay? And we're gonna turn this layer off for a minute and we are going to do a color overlay and we're gonna choose that color, which I think it was a little brighter, yeah. So, um, and then now we're gonna just rasterize these layers. Okay, so turn the orange back on and then just use your left arrow key and just move it a couple clicks to the left just like so all right so then we are going to merge these layers together so um just select merge layer and then now we're going to go to filter and then liquify and this can have varied results too as well. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come in here and click on the liquify tool and to make this, um, you know, like the, the wavy um, thing I did, I just moved some of the taxes in and out, you know, like so. And like I said, this is gonna have a very varied result um, so it won't look exactly like each time. I mean, but that's the whole point of it being trippy. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. And then you can use these tools here. Um, the pucker tool, which kind of like, oops. And if you mess up, you can press control Z. If you want to suck things in, you want to use this tool. It's the bloat tool. Actually, no, the bloat tool sucks things out. So um, the pucker tool sucks things in, but for some reason it's not sucking that corner in. So you can make it smaller and see if it'll suck it, suck it out. Sometimes it has like its issues. 
um, there. I didn't want it so pointy. Sometimes you have to play with it. This is probably the most um, tedious tutorial of them all. So I'm just pushing it in with the uh, this little forward warp tool and that's pretty much all I'm doing at this point. You know what I mean? So once you have it the way you just press OK and then you have your little trippy text and then the next step that we're going to do, we're going to go to filter and then we're going to do zigzag. So stylize, I think it's in the distort zigzag. Okay, you want to just like minus it down so you can see and I'm choosing out from the center and then press OK. And that gives you a little bit of a trippiness there. And if you don't like the way that it looks, you can always go back into filter and liquefy and just kind of like play around. I really like this twirl. Um, this um, this twirl um, tool right here, it's twirls cl clockwise. So that's really cool. And then you can just distort it even further and just continue on from there. And it just kind of makes this like really trippy um, effect. And then to make it stand out more, you're just going to go to the FX button and then do like a quick drop shadow. And the way that this works is to make it really light and to to bring it out a little bit to the left. So I'm using like a really light, like a, I don't, wouldn't say it's purple, it's some kind of lavender, I don't know, um, plum maybe. And then you just, it's on multiply and then I have it set really low. And so that's really cool, I like that. And so these are the three text tutorials that you know, I came up with, I hope you like. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. And if you like this, um, please like and subscribe.